Hi, I'm George Cow. Today I have a cold, and I could have taken the day off, taken the week off, and not made this video, um, because it would be an imperfect video. But I decided to do it anyway, because even though I'm not feeling well and it's going to be an imperfect video, I realized that all of my videos are imperfect, right? And at the same time, all of my videos are perfect as a journal of my life and thoughts in the moment. Um, this brings me to the realization that in the course of the seven years where I've, I've, been, a, I've been working for myself full-time for seven years, I teach and coach entrepreneurs for a living. I have encountered thousands of entrepreneurs and many of them use excuses to stop them from making progress. They say, well, I'm not feeling well today or I'm not feeling well during this time in my life, so I'm not going to be able to build a business. Or someone so-and-so is not feeling well, so I'm going to take care of them so I can't build my business. Now, I'm not saying that you should be expected to perform at the same level as if everything were perfect in your life. I'm not saying that. But I am saying to be very uh, wary of allowing excuses, even health excuses, to stop you from making progress on your dreams. So, for example, I, do, I did have to make adjustments this week because I just started, the cold just started yesterday. Today, I feel worse. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably not going to feel a whole lot better. So, I canceled my two-hour class. I was going to teach a two-hour class tomorrow, and I postponed it for a week because I, I won't be able to perform for two hours straight on an op, you know, anywhere. It wouldn't be fair for the students. However, I'm not postponing uh, the creating of my slideshow. I can work on that on my own. Uh, I'm not postponing other th projects I could work on uh, where I don't have to be performing steadily for two hours or whatever. I could just work on a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there. And the th here's the thing. You might say, well, George, you're being too harsh on yourself. Well, I, I, I will speak, say back to you is that you actually, if you're making excuses, you're being too harsh on yourself because you are actually believing that you have to do things perfectly. When I just believe that everything's already perfect anyway and things are going to work out really amazingly for you and for me. So we're just asked in this life to do what we can to keep learning and to keep contributing. So ironically, I think you're, I, I'm, ironically, I'm not being too harsh on myself because I can, I can do this video, um, you know, imperfectly and I'm okay with that, right? And um, so... So what my, my final advice in this video is to, yes, make some adjustments to rest more when you're sick. I, I'm, gonna, I'm napping a lot more yesterday and today and the rest of the week. However, don't let that excuse stop you from making progress. You can make any progress. It's all going to be perfect. The progress you make now, no matter how unwell you feel, is perfect. And just keep learning and contributing. That's all. You're well taken care of anyway in the bigger scheme of things. So until the next video, I wish you diligence coming from a place of knowing that all is well for you and all will be well for you. Take care.